This video talks you through the process of creating a priority queue using the binary heap uh, type within the standard library. The documentation provides an example that includes integers, which isn't particularly useful. Often we've got something that's a little bit more sophisticated than that. And so I would like to show you an alternative or whereby it's possible to use uh, not much code to add actually, I've got here priority one and priority two and three types of tasks, A, B, and C. And the, uh, the task to complete is actually decoupled from the priority. So you can see that task C appears here twice, uh, or there are two instances of it. In fact, there's three, uh, but there are multiple priorities. The uh, way that I'm going to do this is define our enum or an enum to represent tasks and then a struct uh, to uh, provide a priority in the first part. The work is actually being done by the or trait, which stands for, which is shorthand for ordinal or in order. And that requires the partial ORD trait, which itself requires partial equality, and ORD also equals equality. So if you want Rust to implement ORD for you, you need to do all of this, uh, you need to include all of these um, derives, and ORDINAL is defined for uh, U32s, so it's pretty easy to use integers as priorities, and in terms of tasks, well the enum um, will, uh, Rust will be happy enough with uh, just providing some default ordering. If you want to be more specific with uh, how you want your tasks to be ordered, or even say that they're all equal, um, irrespective, you know, A might equal C, uh, then you can do a custom derive, oh sorry, a custom implementation yourself. The only other thing that's worthwhile noting is that the documentation doesn't have a, uh, if we look back at it, doesn't have a, a view or doesn't really provide an opinion on how to exhaust the, wow, well, um, exhaust the priority queue. Calling pop manually isn't going to work in large programs. And so in your code, what I would recommend is the while let syntax. So we go through and uh, while pop q uh, matches sum, which uh, it will do while there is continue well, until it returns none, which means the queue is empty, uh, we can then return our priority in a task. And so if I print out uh, the output, you can see that uh, it turns out in this instance the queue is quite small and the random order, which is uh, what happens if you just iterate. Uh, over it uh, isn't any different than the uh, priority order, but that's just an implementation detail about the internals. And if you want to pull your items out in priority order or in order of this uh, first uh, element, then uh, make sure that you actually are calling pop. If you don't call pop, uh, then life um, will become non deterministic in your code. <laughs> I hope this has been a fun video for you to watch. Uh, feel free to uh, suggest any other ones that you would like me to uh, address or tackle or um, help or maybe even solve. We'll see. Uh, I will see you uh, in the next video. Oh, I should have said, by the way, you should have commented. So apologies for that. Um, and yeah. Okay. Time for me to sign out. Bye.